Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UIFI projects. And in this particular video, we'll learn how to do a Fury plugin integration in SAP UIFI. So you should have knowledge of Fury Launchpad. You should have IDE access. It can be Web ID or Business Application Studio. So in this particular lesson, we'll refer IDE that is Web IDE. And certainly you need to have a basic knowledge of SAP UI5. So steps to integrate Fury plugin is very simple. So you need to create a new SAP plugin project. Then you have to do a, some configuration as per your requirement. And then you can run the plugin via the Fury Launchpad. So we can jump back to this particular article. So we have created an article for you where we have mentioned all the steps for Web IED for Business Application Studio. So you can just refer this particular uh, article and all the steps mentioned here. So let's go to the coding part. The very first thing I need to do is go to extension section and search for Pure Fury. So once you search for Fury, you can scroll down and you will see this option SAP Fury Launchpad Extensibility, right? Just click on, on and save this particular configuration. You will be asked to refresh your browser. So automatically it will refresh the web ID. And now your Fury extension plugin is turned on. Now go back to the editor. Right click, click new and project from template. Here you need to choose new and you can choose all the categories and that's it. And then you can just uh, scroll down until you find a Fury Launchpad plugin, right? Click on next. I will call it FLP plugin, right? And then we have to give an ID in the form of com dot your company name. So my project ideas dot com and then the name of the plugin. So FLP plugin. This FLP will work. And then name of the plugin is again the same. Once you are done with that, you can add your but your you know extension to the toolbar. You can add your extension to the footer, and then you can click on next and finish. And this will generate a set of files that can be deployed to your Fury Launchpad, and then it will be visible for all the users using the Fury Launchpad. So in this particular file, you can find component.js file and uh, this is the function that comes by default a button comes by default click to open plugin i will call it like this and also it has a message toast on click of a press button so just for a demo like where exactly it will be shown and one click what will happen exactly so simple toast will show up same thing is also mentioned in the header menu and they have called it you know add a bookmark so i can call it run plugin so code is written by default so on press of button or whatever you want you can extend it according to your needs so the plugin comes with a raw code like this and then you click on a plugin click on run and run as sap fury launchpad sandbox Perfect. So we can see the plugin has loaded. So click to open plugin appears here. And when you click that, the message that uh, we have shown in the code editor appears here. The same plugin is added here, like this run plugin. And when you click that, the same message toast appears. So in this way, you can integrate your custom button in the menu bar. You can integrate your custom button in the footer or anywhere else you want. And that will be by default on the launch pad. I hope this video was helpful to you. We'll see you in another video. Thank you.